music is all about the planet Mars, and it was composed by a man called Gustav Holst. Ah, but did you know that Mars was also the Roman god of war? Oh, that's why it makes me think of soldiers marching into battle. Do you know what it makes me think of? What? That we should actually explain how these drums work. Good idea. Drums have been around for a long, long time and they were often used in war. A drum has been found by archaeologists in a place called Moravia in Europe and it turned out to be 8,000 years old. Whoa! But drums are pretty simple instruments. They're called percussion instruments. And percussion just means one thing hitting another. Thank you. And so to play a drum, all you need to do is hit it. Beautiful, Greg. Thanks. But as well as the drum, other percussion instruments include the triangle. Thank you. The tambourine. Thank you. And the cymbals. Are you sure? Uh, yes. OK. That's pretty loud. <sighs> Drums come in all shapes and sizes, but basically each of them is a hollow body which has a skin over the top and the skin is stretched very, very tight. When you bang a drum, the skin vibrates. The vibration of the drum makes the air particles inside and around the drum vibrate too, and this forms sound waves. The sound waves travel out in all directions, and if they reach your ears, that means you'll hear the sound of the drum. Right, so we have got this drum here. And let's imagine that this confetti are the tiny particles that make up air, the air molecules, right? And watch what happens when I hit the drum. Thank you. Whoa! <laughs> that's good! That is awesome! That is cool. So, when the skin of the drum vibrates, it makes the air molecules, the confetti, also vibrate and bounce into the air. Oh, I think we're going to see this much better if we use my super slow-mo camera. OK, go. So there's the hit. It sets the drum skin vibrating. It chucks that musical confetti into the air, just like the air molecules are vibrating above the drum skin. And you can still see the skin vibrating. <laughs> it is awesome. It's brilliant. It looks amazing. <laughs> So, sound waves are invisible, but another way of imagining how they work is to use this bowl of water and a tuning fork. Tuning forks are used by musicians to make sure that their instruments are playing the right notes. And they work by simply banging them, and then they play a certain note. Oh, nice. This one plays the note E. Oh, which means that I can tune the E string on my guitar. Go on. Let's do it. That's it. Now, if I bang this tuning fork again, but this time put it into this bowl of water, watch what happens. Whoa! So, let's use our super slow-mo camera and get a closer look. Oh. In super slow-mo, you can see that the tuning fork wobbles. It's those vibrations that make the sound waves. And it's the same vibrations that get the water all excited, too. And it's quite a good way just to spread water everywhere, to be honest with you. It is, isn't it? Now, you may not realise it, but you actually have one of these inside here. Yes, inside your ear is something called your eardrum. It's like a drum because there is a thin piece of skin-like tissue stretched tight across the opening between your outer ear canal and your middle ear. When the sound waves hit your eardrum, they make it vibrate just like when Fran hit the skin of her drum earlier. The middle ear and the inner ear convert those vibrations into signals that our brains interpret as sounds. Now, excuse me, big drums have a lot of air inside them, and when a drum has a lot of air to vibrate, it makes a low sound. It has what we call a low pitch. But this little drum has less air inside it, and when you have less air to vibrate, you get a sound with a high pitch. Nice. But you can also change the sound a drum makes in other ways too. So this drum has a skin which you can make tighter or slacker by turning these handles. So at the moment, the drum sounds like this. And if we tighten the skin, it sounds like this. Higher. You can even tighten the skin as you're playing it as well to change the pitch.
The other thing that's interesting is that the harder you hit the skin, the larger the vibrations and the louder the sound. But the lighter you hit the skin, the smaller the vibrations and the quieter the sound. And that is what we call... Volume! Volume! There are lots of different types of drums and drum sounds. You can play just one drum, like... Like a marching drum! Thanks, that's enough! That's... Thanks, that's, that's great. Cheers, thank you. Or you can... Or you can put lots of different drums together to make a drum kit. And that is exactly what we're going to do right now in... A one, two, three, four! Yes! Done. Look at that! Now, what we've got here is down here we've got a cardboard box, which is like our bass drum, which we can hit like that. This is my favourite bit. It's cool. Brilliant. We've got our beautiful cymbal right here. Now these, these are the drums. And this one, this one's got a little bit of Greg spare change on top, so that's our snare drum. Nice sound. And to finish off, we have our big bin drum. Now actually, there's one more thing we need. An old oil can that I've scrubbed clean. Now I think we are ready to rock. Six meters tall, thank you, and weighs 7,000 kilograms. That is heavier than an African elephant. However, if you want to make drums that are simple and easy to make, fun to play, and cost hardly anything, then we are going to show you how. What you need is a plastic cup, elastic band, a balloon, and some scissors. Now be careful with the scissors. And what you do is you take the balloon and you simply just snip off the neck of the balloon, like that. Then you just need to place it over your cup, and it's really important to stretch it completely with no lumps and bumps in. And then you take the elastic band and tighten it up. Can you just help me with this, mm, Greg? Sure. Can you just put it over? One, two. And there you go. That is your drum made. Greg, can you just patch in that kitchen mallet? Yes. Thank you. And you just hit it. Works well. Uh, you can make other types of percussion instruments as well by adding rice or I've got some popcorn here that hasn't been popped yet. You can just put that inside the bottom of your cup and... Ah, it makes like maracas! I like that! That's pretty cool, isn't it? Pretty cool, but I've got to say I think my homemade drum kit wins this one. Take it away, Mr Hulse. Let's go to Mars! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.